Bob Crow. Well, I want to distinguish between the European Union and Europe. Uh, my union's policy is quite clear to come out of the European Union, and we never want to be in it. But we want to be involved in Europe, working with other groups of workers who we believe is our friends. You see, my view, personally, is that your nationality is pure an accident of birth. Where you was born is your nationality. And it wasn't too long ago, 45, 50 years ago, that London Transport was going out to the West Indies because there was a shortage of labour for people working on London Underground and London Transport. So it's not an issue about what your nationality is. The issue at the end of the day is that the European Union, and not Europe, is anti-democratic, and the reason why they're opening the borders to allow Bulgarians, Romanians, Polish, it's irrelevant. There's people in this audience tonight who are probably Irish. There's people in there who are <coughs> ex-family are Polish. The reason I want to open the borders up for is because the people that's coming to this country are economic migrants who are coming to this country looking for work, but by virtue of the fact they're coming to this country, they're lowering the rates and conditions for those people that are working here. And we should be absolutely clear that a person who wants to come to this country, why are we saying to the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal that your footballers can't come and play for you? Because they're immigrants. They come here because they've got a work permit. And the simple way around it is to say that if you want to come to this country, you have a work permit. You couldn't go to Australia without a work permit. You couldn't go to Cuba without a work permit. So why should people come to Britain without a work permit? But the issue is this at the end of the day. It's about time that we didn't wait for Cameron to be elected to get a referendum. We should have a referendum now to decide whether we'll be part of the European Union or not. And my view is that we should come out. Well, I, I didn't, didn't realise we were, we were three to two in favour of pulling out. Ken Clark, you better have a... Well, yeah, sure. Well, well. Can you reply on the, on the key point that Bob made about people come here to keep wages low uh, and therefore undermine... Uh, well, the, w the working conditions of people already here. Where there are negotiated conditions in the <coughs> railways and where we have a minimum wage, well, that should be stopped. We, we, it's perfectly within our power. That's the Europeans don't stop us uh, enforcing contracts and the minimum wage on anybody here of whatever nationality. And what you can't do is discriminate. When I go to Europe as a tourist or doing my present job, I take a little health card and I get offered health treatment in whatever country I'm in on the same basis as the locals. That is how it works. And, and uh, you know, if you go and work in Europe, if you're a British person, you do acquire, if you stay there, have a long stay, a few years or whenever, you start acquiring rights to benefits. It goes in both ways. And you can't turn to some country and say you're going to stop it without expecting them to say, well, we're going to stop your people coming here. And I, I congratulate the two ladies. They, they took us on to skills training, apprenticeship, motivating our young people. Uh, that is the way, and together with all the other things we're doing, capital investment and so on, to give the jobs and to stimulate our economy. At these time out crisis, it's too easy for parties like UKIP to say, no, we can solve youth unemployment. You've got to stop all these Bulgarians coming here. Uh, if you start voting for that kind of protest movement, you take your eye off the ball. I'd love to argue the merits of what we're doing. We do have a private sector that's created a million more jobs since we came to power, and we've got to have more of that. We have thousands of Bulgarians here picking vegetables and fruit. They come each year because you can't no, get no, British no, people no, to do also, it. also, Ken, what have you done about the manufacturing industry in this country? You've shut down coal, you've shut down steel, you've shut down fishery, and there's not one kid that can leave school now without a proper apprenticeship because of the disaster of your policies over the last 30 years. <laughs>